We're here at Dwight Zook and Holy PA. He fattens about 600 head of beef cows each year. We, right here, we're standing in front of a pen with 120 animals here in this barn. And he farms around 900 acres, grows all his own feed. You can see he's feeding a lot of corn silage and corn. So he put big fans in August of last year and, and he's noticed it keeps the pen drier. So what, what we got here is these two pens of 60 each of built of building just around 120 by 70 foot wide for the, both these pens and it's keeping them a lot drier. <laughs> He also has automatic curtains on the back side. It's auto vent with a rain sensor. So the rain, the curtains go down, keep the rain out, and then it warms up, they open back up. And then with the fans blowing all the time, it helps keep it dried out. These fans will start around 40 degrees and flatline until around 60, then they'll start speeding up. So, so that keeps the air moving. Uh, you can hear some coughing in the background right now because respiratory is a big problem with beef cows. So th this helps keep your respi the respiratory pressure down by keeping fresh air moving across the floor because the, the, they lay there with the noses down near the bedded pack and you, you want the air to keep moving. Otherwise, they're breathing in the ammonia that's just sitting there because during, during the night, the air is really still and this helps the fans keep the air moving so they got, they got fresher air right down at the floor. Here is the Zook's latest toy. It's a, a Alice Chalmers 8550. It's around a 1980 era uh, unit. It's uh, articulated 300 horsepower, six cylinder, 12 liters. That means they're two liters per cylinder at around 300 horsepower. They, they bought this from uh, out in the Midwest and it cost them around, this is 2023 and it cost them around 25,000 for, for the tractor and about 8,000 to get it shipped in. So this is farm, farmers like farm toys. So this is a farm toy. They're, they're chisel plowing with it here in the spring. It, it runs, it actually works pretty good. And, and I thought it was quite fascinating. So 1980 area. This is this is 2023. It's around 45 years old, and you can still use it. So, how many people do you know that drive 45-year-old cars? So, this is a 45-year-old tractor, still using it as a hobby, and it works and drives quite well. 300 horsepower out of six cylinders with a two a two two liter per cylinder give it a lot of torque. The other kind of neat thing here on the back, it has a PTO, so they have two shafts running through the. Uh, the articulating point, the, the PTO spin, shaft spins all the time, and they put the clutch in the back end. So, so the shaft spins all the time, but yet the, the PTO clutch is right at the back end. So as it's running, you see the one shaft is always spinning. Fuel shut off is exactly opposite of what we're used to in John Deere's. This one, you, you got to push it in to kill it. Normally, we're used to you pull it out to kill. So it's the driving, it's a little bit opposite of what we're used to. But again, it's really, really fascinating. 43-year-old tractor still duels is really big for its time and it's still in use today. So that's one of the important things with beef cows is keeping your respiratory problems down, keeping everything dry. You'll be able to have healthier animals and a little higher stocking density.